Hi guys, welcome. Today we will be working on this felt succulent wall hanging. It's so cute and a great way to adorn any room. Let's begin. Supplies that you're going to need are felt. Um, we've got two different color tans here, uh, maybe a yellowish one, but you definitely want two different colors because you want a little pocket. And then two different colors of felt, an embroidery hoop. I like to have double-sided tape. I'll show you why you need that. Um, scissors, hot glue, a black Sharpie marker is great, and then also some ribbon. We will get started. The first thing that we will do is go ahead and clip off this nice little tag, if you have a tag on there. Just need to remove that. Okay, then we will loosen the two embroidery hoops by twisting this right here. That will loosen this so we can get the smaller one out. And you want it to be a little bit loose because we're actually going to put two pieces of felt in here shortly. Um, okay, so we will first take our pretty, pretty tan felt. When I lay it over the top, I want to make sure it comes up and is spaced so it kind of comes over that area a little bit. So maybe have about a half inch to three quarter inch hang over that. Flip it over carefully. And then we're gonna take the second piece of felt and you can sort of see your embroidery hoop there. We're gonna take our second piece of felt and put it halfway. Just kind of lay it like that, okay? So one sheet over the other. Now you'll take your hoop and you're probably gonna have to open it up more because we've got two layers of felt that need to fit in here. And I think I went the right way. Let's see. So you'll have to practice. I wanna make sure this is loosening up. Oh, there we go and then press it over the hoop that's underneath. And then we wanna tighten it. Oh, mine's already kind of tight. This is great. <laughs> I didn't have to do a lot of work, but you do wanna make sure this is tight. And when you flip it over, that they feel flush. Like the two hoops are touching each other perfectly, right? So it's smooth, sort of, except for that felt, okay? You wanna make sure it's tight and it's not gonna pop off. All right, look at that pocket. We just automatically made a cool little pocket. We're gonna use that pocket later. Okay, let's go ahead and take our scissors and we will trim around trimming the excess felt right off. And what I've done is I've laid my scissors down along the side of the hoop. So I'm getting a really nice cut and it's really close. If it's easier for you to do one color at a time, you can do that too. So I'm just gonna slide my scissors Actually, I'll just cut that piece off so it's easier for me to see. And then trim all the way around the tan. I'm just working my way around. It's important that you have a nice pair of scissors. Maybe you've already discovered that <laughs> as you're trimming. Um, you do want a good pair of scissors. Ask your mom first though, which scissors to use. You don't want to use her really good ones. 
and just trim. But they should be pretty sharp. Be careful when you're doing this. Okay, look at that pretty edge. It's really nice. We'll go ahead and set this on the side. Next part, pack your patience. We are gonna be doing lots, lots more cutting. We've got all of these patterns here that we need to cut out. Um, two different ones, and they look a little bit different. This one has five petals, two different flowers, a big one and a smaller one, big and small. We're gonna cut one color out with that, and then the other color, we're gonna cut two of this one, two of this one, and these have four petals. Now we notice a little sign right here. It says cut six, three of each color. Okay, I will remember that. Let's cut this guy out. Patterns and templates, we use these a lot. It's nice that this piece of paper is a little firm. We can actually keep this template and reuse it over and over again. Rim this first one. And I think my first petals, flowers, succulent that we cut out, I'm going to use this four petaled one. I'm going to do the dark green. Cutting. Okay. Let me show you this little trick that I have learned that is helpful for me. Um, I've got double-sided tape here. I'm gonna put double-sided tape on my pattern. Peel it off. And you could do it one across or another. I'm just gonna do two little pieces. I'm just peeling this off and it creates, this is um, great double-sided tape you can see it's shiny and it's now sticky I'll put that in the corner now that's gonna help me so it doesn't move around if I wanted to cut it while it's on here and not trace it okay now if that's too difficult don't worry we can take our Sharpie marker, and this way it's on there and it doesn't move. We don't have to really worry about that. And we can trace our template. I can easily remove that and get it ready. Remember it says cut to stick it here and get this piece ready. Now notice that I'm trimming, trimming it out so it's easier for me to cut those pieces rather than having this big piece and struggling with it. Okay, go ahead and cut this guy out. Again, I've got a nice pair of scissors I'm trimming this with, so it makes my job easier. When you have the right tools for your job or project, it makes the job easier. So now I've got to cut another one. Go ahead and cut out all of your pieces. You can place, put pause and I'll see you back here in just a minute. All right, I have my two different piles for my two different succulents that I cut out. I have my two pieces of my smaller petals for this succulent. I'm just gonna peel that off. That was easy for me to use earlier. 
So this is my small one, and this one's a little bit larger. Two of those in my dark green. So two large, two small, and then my three ovals. And then in my other color of green, which is a lighter color, kind of a mossy color, I have my two small and my two large and my three ovals. This one is a five petal and this one is a four petal succulent. We're gonna start with the centers of our succulents first. So we've got the three ovals. I'm gonna take just a little bit of hot glue and fold this right on top of each other. Ooh little string. <laughs> we're going to do this with all of them. So we're going to actually just half that oval. Be careful with your with your glue gun. You could use like a pencil sometimes I have to press it down. Have a parent with you if you need help with this. Hot glue guns can sting your fingers so please be very careful we've got those three pieces down and we'll take one piece and we're going to half it again can you guys see that there's my piece and i'm gonna half it so I'll put a little touch of hot glue in the corner and i will half it This is our center, our very, very center. Now we're gonna take one of those other oval halves <laughs> and we're going to give the first one a hug. Can you guys see that? So if it's here, we're gonna take this one and we're going to hug the other one looks like little lips okay so I'm gonna put a dot of hot glue here on this corner lay this section down and then I'll put a dot of hot glue here and fold our other petal on top of it giving that first one a hug Okay, can you guys see that? <laughs> Whoops, that little piece of hot glue did not stick very well for me. Sometimes that happens. I just need to put a little piece, another piece down. Okay. And then we'll go right back over the first one that we did. Right, Lou? You can edit that, Jonathan. So now we're gonna give the hug back to that second piece. So we're gonna hug. We're sharing the love today with our succulents. Put that down. And then around to hug. little touch of hot glue. Just gonna hold it there for a second. Oh, this is cute. I can already see that center coming together, all of the layers. Put that on the side. Now let's grab our light color, big, five petal flower and you should have two of them that look alike we're going to place one down and then place the second one just askew you don't want to lay it right on top we're going to slightly turn it so the points are in between see that 
Let's do the same thing with our next five petal. We're gonna put the points in between. So we're layering them like this. Next one, on top, but not directly on top, crisscrossing them. Okay, we haven't glued anything yet. All that we did was layered them. Now let's take our center and we're gonna hot glue it right to here, right on top of there. Hot glue. I can see what's happening. <laughs> now with each petal, we're gonna just put a touch of glue on the side to make each petal come up on this top one. So a little glue and up. I'll rotate it. A little bit of glue and up. And you might have to just hold it there for a second or grab a pen or pencil and just touch it so we don't hurt our little digits. Okay. Another piece of glue. You can do this with tacky glue, but if you did, it's probably gonna take you a while. You're really gonna have to hold it down for quite some time. That's why we do like to practice using our hot glue gun and using it carefully very carefully touch and it, again it helps when you have a pen or pencil um, that has a cap on it or you use the erasing eraser part of it to press in and hold okay now mine kind of wiggled around just a little bit but what I'll do, and I'll bring this closer, the next flower petal that I'm going to use, notice the two points are here and here. I'll show it like this, here and here. And the last point that I have is up. So we want them to be in between. Remember how we staggered them? When all the points to be staggered and not directly overlapping each other. That makes our flower or our succulent look like it's um, opening up. Okay, so staggered. Staggered is a really good word today. I'm gonna put this on top and stagger. I'll just put that on the side. This petal right here, I'll hot glue right there along that seam in between the two other petals. Being very careful. Oh, I need to reload my hot glue gun. I am not using a lot of hot glue during this process. I'm just using a, just a tiny little bit. It does not take a lot on this felt. I'm going to go right here in between. And I'm just going to work my way around. Am I missing anything, Lou? Am I doing too much glue? Okay. That looks really good. Something that may help me, um, because I'm, it's hard for me to hold all of this, I'm actually gonna put a little glue right here. And then I'm going to put a little glue on my next one too. And that will hold them all together. So 
my staggering doesn't get mixed up. Oh, that even looks good just laying like that. I'm gonna go ahead and continue forming and pushing it up a little bit. It's amazing how this felt really is taking on the look of a succulent, a real live succulent. So fun. We're going to repeat the same process on this one where we will half these together. And they'll all hug each other. Okay, so once you have the center of your flower hugging each other, so cute, set that aside, and we're gonna take our large petals, four petal, four petal succulent pieces, <laughs> and stagger them, remember how we did that? I'm gonna put a dot of glue this time. That's just gonna help it stay on there. Now I'll take my next piece, stagger it. This is the small one. Put a little dot of glue. And then this next piece will be staggered. I'm gonna put a little dot of glue in the center. It's all coming together. And then my center. And you can pause the video and we will be right back. We're just gonna continue what we did before, hot glue up, hot glue up, and all the way around, okay? We'll see you back in a minute. All right, next step. All that we are going to do now that we have our cute little succulents. And I really glued all of mine tightly together. This one we did before, we didn't even glue that tight, like not as um, closed, um, but it doesn't matter. Each one is unique and different. We're just gonna give a little bit of glue and tuck it in this pocket like they're blossoming out from this little pocket. It's so cute. So I'll put a little hot glue back here. Ta-da. And a little here. Oh my gosh. I think this is one of my favorite projects. I have to thank Miss Lisa Liu for this adorable project. This is her cute little creation that she came up with so we can thank her. As that's drying I'm going to take my ribbon now and we can just kind of half it, do it like a bookmark. I'm going to, this is the half part. Let me show you that again. Took the ribbon Put it in half. Yeah. Take the loop. 
who uses bookmarks anymore? I don't know, but this is how I used to make a bookmark. Um, pull it through. Now I can see that loop. And I'll put both pieces through here. I promise. Put both pieces through there. And then pull up. And it locks it in. And you could tie a knot up here or you could tie a little bow. Maybe that's what's going to go around your little hook or nail on the wall. Um, you can really tie this however you want. But there you have it. Your succulent, felt succulent wall hanging. See you later.